Hi everyone, it's Mikey with Chasing Donnie Baseball. Welcome to our 2019 Topps Stadium Club. Uh, this is a two-box break, two-box hobby break. Uh, as you can see, we have our two boxes here. We are looking for two on-card autographs. This is going to be in every box, so we'll expect two in each box, so four for a total. Plus, there are some parallels and, and uh, other inserts we'll be looking for, so I'm going to go ahead and get... Uh, Get this started. We have our um, there's a full full 30 team. Pick your team. So let me get that list actually out real quick here before I forget to do that. Just want to show everybody that has bought into this. All right, we'll start. Uh, and I also added your Patreon if you're a Patreon member, uh, your tier membership. So thank you for that. So we go up. I call this Star Wars style. All right, take a look at your name. If you're friends with someone and they forgot that this break was on, give them a shout. Let them know that it is beginning. There we go. All right. And I'll make reference to this throughout the evening. Um, whoever gets the hits or a break, uh, autographs, things like that. So we'll uh, we'll take care of that. I'll give you some shout outs. All right. So we'll do uh, box number one. Okay. I'm going to try to save these boxes because I kind of like the... The design of them, they're kind of a rectangular, you know, let, me, let me redo this cut here. Um, I'll show you, actually, let me show you the box real quick here. So as you can see, it's a little bit different than your regular box, very thin. And like I said, it's a rectangle. There's Jason the Grom. Um, so I kind of like the box. I think it's a cool box to maybe put cards in, display cards in, things like that. So I'm going to hold on to these boxes. I have a few more of them. I haven't decided if I'm going to do more breaks on them. Just depends, I guess, on the interest level. Um, they just came out yesterday, so I'm going to have to kind of see how how the comments are on the video on this video, and maybe like take a look at other breaks, see how they people respond to their breaks. So a lot goes into deciding whether or not to do more than one uh, one break on these. Let me tell you, the plastic is not too, uh, too kind for me on this one. They do a good, a good cut. Uh, all right, here we go. Now we're in. All right. Now, this is this is going to be fairly quick. Uh, I'm not going to go very quick through the cards, but there's not a lot of cards. There are, I think, eight cards per pack. Let me just double check on that and get this open. And I think I'd let you guys take a look at that. There's eight cards per pack. Plus, we get this really cool oversized box loader. This is a huge card. It's a gigantic card. And it's uh, usually, you know, it's one of the base cards that are in the regular set, but it's oversized. But it also can be autographed. So maybe we'll open that first. How about that? We'll take a look at this first, see what it's all about, see who gets it. And then we'll go from there. Maybe in the next box we'll open it last if it's a really cool looking card. Then we'll do it last. Something different. Oh, I see Ricky Henderson. That's cool. This is a very cool looking card. It's very large. Let me turn it over. There we go. Oh yeah, that's a cool looking card. Look at that. It's really big. Ricky Henderson. That Eddie Murray, so you got two Hall of Famers there. Very cool. But Eddie Murray's on the card, but it's a Ricky Henderson card. So that goes to our A's uh, owner, who is Steve A. Steve A. So very cool, Steve. So that's kind of a goes in our hit pile. If you watch my breaks before, I kind of have kind of two different hit piles. I have the you know the big ones, the autographs or. Something numbered out of 10 or 101s, although I haven't hit a 101 yet. Um, so I usually put those in, in you know, the main hit pile. And then I like to put the some of the other parallels, all numbered cards. I kind of put them in a another hit pile. And at the end, I like to show them all anyway. So Because to me, hits are about just cool cards. It doesn't have to be the most valuable card. It's just a really cool card. So, all right, that's... Uh, Close this box up, get it out of the way, and we'll start opening these up. Here we go. Do these 
next up. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna go, this will probably go pretty quickly since there's only eight cards in, one, in each one of these packs. But we'll see. I will stop and these are kind of new, obviously, so we'll kind of take a look at them a little bit more in depth than if we're, say, opening a Series 2 set pack that was, that's been out for a while. Since these just came out yesterday, it's still kind of new to everyone, so. All right. Marcus Stroman. Good start. Marcus Stroman saying he wants to be a Yankee. As a Yankee fan, can't say I hate that. Now, the one thing I have noticed that um, so far is that most of the cards are this direction, this sideways direction. So I think what I'll do, I'll do these kind of this way if it's okay. Because most of them are this way. So Bryce Wilson. There you go. There's a red. Aguilar. Let's see what that's numbered. Is it numbered? No, it's not numbered. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Oh, look what we got here. We got our first redemption. Base card autograph of Kristen Stewart. That's not bad. That's not bad. I don't hate that. And then going to our Detroit owner, who is William C. William C. So there you go. Got our first redemption card. So get this off to you. And you send this in and you will get your Kristen Stewart autograph. So there you go. We got our first hit. I guess that's our first hit, right? I mean, our first autograph. Redemption card, but... Hmm, interesting. Well, we'll go through the rest of the packs and see if that is actually our autograph. I, I assume it is. I don't know why it wouldn't be. But I'll put that in the hit pile. Makes makes sense to put it in the hit pile, right? Can we sleeve that up? Let me get that sleeved up for you, William. Okay. All right, guys, here we go. Oh, by the way, has everybody voted? I know it's, uh, I think, while this is going on right now, this break, we have our uh, all-star uh, votes are in. So I know they're naming them right now. I'm not sure where we are. I think it started at 7 p.m. So wondering who uh, who made the team. I wonder if you guys all voted. I'm assuming you did. It couldn't have made it any easier this year, the whole Google vote. It's really simple. I mean, there's going to be guys that get in every year. And it's an all-star. You know, it's a popularity. We all know that. That's never changed. But I'm just wondering if there's uh, any players that you voted for that you really hope get in. Like Aaron Judge. You know, again, I don't know if he got in tonight or not. Cool card. Ted Williams, right? Anything with a Ted Williams on it is a cool card. Like Martini rookie card. Jacob DeGrom. That's a cool card. There we go. Johnny Bench, huh? How about that? Very nice card. Of course, going to our red zoner. Who's our red zoner tonight? That is David C. That's a really cool card, David. Oh, another really cool card is Luke Garrick. Wow. I don't know if these cards are numbered. I don't think they are now. But that's going to our Yankee owner, uh, Kyle H. Another cool card. And here's one of the uh, new inserts for Stadium Club, Warp Speed. Robin Yount, nice card there. And Robin, who's going to our Milwaukee Brewers? Andrew M, Andrew M, one of our Gold Glove members. Patreon member, and Cole Hamels. So pretty cool cards. Just wanna check on this Ted Williams, see if it was numbered, I don't think it was. Double checking, no. Okay, but very nice. Okay, get these off. And we look along here. Okay. There we go. So yeah, these packs are going pretty fast for them. I mean, I mean, I think there's been more or equal number, it seems like, retired players, Hall of Famers and stuff than base uh, current players so far, at least in our three packs that we've done so far. Get them over there. Hope you guys don't mind me doing them sideways like this. I just think it makes more sense since most of the cards are in this direction, right? Kind of like watching pictures, like taking pictures. You know what I mean? When you're at home, 
David Ortiz, that's a cool card. Hunter Renfro. Power Zone. Glaber Torres. And Strasburg. So yeah, that's what it that's what it kind of feels like. You know, when you have photos at home, you're kind of you Darvish. Okay. Let's pack down. So so far we got the one autograph. We got the redemption card for Kristen Stewart from Detroit, which is cool. I really like Kristen Stewart. I like his cards. Um I don't know. I think he's going to be a good player for a long time. It's kind of that feeling. Sometimes you see a player and... Okay. All right. And turn it to sideways again. There's Loriano rookie card. Corbin Burns rookie card. That's a cool card. Very cool card. Wow, you're really getting up there, story. You got that's a quite a quite a leap. Cool card, Ozzy Albies. There you go. It's nice red. What we got here? Is this numbered? So far, no numbered cards, huh? Okay, still a nice looking card for sure. Nice red. Where is this? Uh, Atlanta is Adam R. There you go, Adam. Adam, an MVP Patreon member. Dark Jeter. There you go. Very cool card. Wow, look at that. That's the refractor here. We got it's gotta be numbered. <laughs> I'm always looking for numbers. It's not, but it's a cool card. It's a really nice card. It's definitely like a refractor. Carpenter. You got Loriano, okay. A nice card. I like that Jeter card. That's really nice. Okay. Ooh. Getting through our first box here. The Acuna Jr. peeking at us on the back. We'll get to you in just a minute, Ronald. First, we turn it over. Oh, Junior. Ripken Junior card. Very cool. Oh, look at this. This is after he got the record for most consecutive games played. If I remember that. Wheel on getting driven around. Camden Yards. That was pretty cool. Billy Hamilton. Or that was maybe it was retirement. You know, I don't know. Don't read that. Look at that up. Someone out there, Orioles fan or just diehard baseball fan can tell me that one. Dustin Bedroya. Look at that. Hmm. Irony of him kind of like this picture, right? If you know what I mean. Poor guy can't play. Justin Upton. So far, I'm liking these cards. I'm actually not a huge stadium club um, fan. Like over the years. Black lettering there. You know me, I'm looking for, looking for numbers. Um, so I, I don't know. Maybe because... I don't know. They just some of the poses over the years have been really, really cheesy. <laughs> so maybe that's what it is. This is a cool card. Looking to point to his name on the bat, just in case you couldn't read the bottom of the card. <laughs> that's a cool card. And there's Ripken. Um, yeah, over the years, like the older stadium clubs, early '90s and things. I don't know. They're really some of those poses were so, so cheesy. Like they literally had these guys like. Posing like they were models. You know, I don't know. It's just weird. Some of the pictures are just really weird. These are at least, even the ones that aren't playing now, these pictures are much better. At least they put them in their element, you know, like at the ball field or wherever it might be. These, the old stadium clubs, they would have them just like in a black room, just photographed. Look at that. That's a cool picture, actually. Just realized the ball getting into the glove. Um, so, yeah, well, it wasn't a huge fan, but I really like these cards. I really am, because I think they're. A, they're really nice poses. The cards are nice quality. Really nice. Uh, they always are. I mean, Stadium Club is always really nice. This is a great card. See, I bet it wasn't signed. Beam Team, Aaron Judge. That's a really nice card. I like those, these Beam Team inserts are really nice. 
So there's a, a number of them in there. And they are autographed. Some of them are autographed. So that's what I was hoping for there. But now K-Line. Ryan Sandberg. That's a cool car. Look at that. Old uniform. Nice. Very nice. I like how they're mixing it up. They're putting in, uh, you know, current players with the older players. So I think that's really nice. It gives you a little bit of uh, nostalgia, I think, you know. And plus, if you're a young fan, young collector, you're obviously getting your stars like the Acunas, but you get to sit there and, and also go through a pile that has, you know, Ryan Sandberg and Cal Ripken and it makes you kind of ask questions about who they are and look up their stats and just realize how great they are, you know? I think that's great for young fans to know how great the players are that came before their Acunas and, and players like that. It's important that they know that, especially as a collector, I think it's important that you know who these guys are and you know you look up their stats and you read their stats and it's the black no, it's the red right red foil what they call that but i like what they did that to the name not numbered but oh here we go and this i guess is our second autograph and that'll be oh nick bird okay this is a nice card it's going to our pirates owner looks like he put a little i guess that's a biblical 2131. What is that? Um, that's Psalms? No. I don't know what that is. I think it might be Psalms. I'm going to have to look that up after this. Pittsburgh Pirates, Travis P., one of our MVP members. It's the first time I've ever seen a player uh, on, card, on card autograph that writes something extra. Has anybody else seen that? I, I haven't seen that. I'm not just talking about this set, but even over the past. That's pretty cool. It's not numbered, but it's a. Uh, it's a nice autograph, nonetheless. So we'll definitely put that on our, our hip pile. Let me get this sleeved up for you, Travis. So yeah, there you go. He's got a message on it. I love that. That's a good idea. I guess Tops let him do it. I'm surprised Tops let him do that. Hmm. You know what I mean? Like, today it seems like he can't really... It would be too controversial, if you will, to put a biblical um, verse on there, or at least... A reference to a verse, but if it is, if that's what it is, indeed, I'm gonna look it up. That's pretty cool. I'm glad Tops kind of went ahead, went ahead and let him do that. But I haven't seen that before. There we go, Josh James. Okay, Josh. Alrighty. So that's a cool. That was a pretty good pack. We got our second autograph. I believe our second autograph. And I say that because our first autograph was a redemption card um, for Kristen Stewart. You know, redeemed for an autograph. So I'm I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that's that's what that is. So that might have been our second autograph. I don't know. They say two on-card autograph cards in every box. So I don't know if that means there's a possibility of another one. I don't know. We're gonna open them up to find out. If not, I'm sure we're gonna get some great looking cards and we're gonna go through them. So here we go. Cleveland. Trevor Bauer. Brooks Robinson. There you go. See how they're doing this? They're really mixing it up really nicely. I think it's pretty cool how they're doing that. Look at that. Nolan Ryan. Jeez, that's a cool pose. Follow through. Look at the number on the on the actual pants. How about that, huh? Remember those old uniforms? I bet you somebody will bring that back. Numbers on the pants. There you go. Warp speed. Mike Trout. Like there's anything the guy can't do. Card here in Nolan. And Johnny Mice. Another old school. Very cool. I like that pack. Yeah, I would say, um, and even for like, you know, collectors such as myself, I mean, Johnny Mice, remembering who Johnny Mice was, looking up his numbers, and just, I like that they're putting him on baseball cards and including them with the, the current generation. I think that's a really great idea by Tops. So, Hat tip to you, Tops, for doing that. I think it's important. Okay, let's get here. We only have about, I think about seven more packs to go in the first box, so we're kind of moving along here nicely. See, we'll put Ramar back there. Miles Straw. Good card, look at that, man. Going in. Yeah, the stadium's definitely doing a better job with, like, action, action-looking cards for sure. Josh Donaldson, there's the 
Red. Nice looking card. Hank Thomas. A big hurt. Two bats. Some of those shots he hit. I'm sure some of the pitchers thought he was he had two bats. There you go. Matt Kemp. Profiling right here. Nice looking card there. Roberto Almar. There you go. Okay. Moving right along. So far, two hits. One going to Detroit Tigers, Kristen Stewart. And that is, as I mentioned, William C. And then we have the uh, Nick Birdeye autograph on card autograph. And that is going to Travis P. So, I don't know if we're going to hit any more autographs in this box. But we're going to definitely go through them and see what's happening here. Jeff McNeil, that's a cool looking card. <laughs> Look at that. Awesome action shots. They really are doing a great job with that. So far in this set, there's a Kristen Stewart. I wonder if that's the redemption card. The autograph will be on this card, I wonder. Making contact down there. <laughs> cool card. David Price. Look at that. <laughs> that's cool. Bryce Harper, all the autographs. That's a really neat looking uh, shot there. Just shows you what these guys go through every day, right? Tough life, tough life. Tanaka. Too hard. And nice. Eddie Matthews. Very nice. That's a cool shot. All right. Really, really digging this set so far. Okay, we're going to. How many packs we have here left? We have. A few more packs. Yep. A few more packs, and then we'll get into box number two. And then don't forget, we have our giveaway at the end of this, our hobby box giveaway. So, like I usually do, I will pause the video right at the last um, when I open the last pack, and come right back with the uh, laptop setup. And we use randomizer, this list randomizer, and five times I randomize the list five times. All the team owners, anybody that bought in to this break will be on that list once. Your name will be on there once. And after five times randomizing it, the person on top of that list will win the hobby box. So that'll be coming up not too long from now. All right. There we go. Another one. I love that color. Look at that. Isn't that neat? Powerful looking card for sure. Honus Wagner. That's an old Honus Wagner, so I wonder if that's Pittsburgh Pirates. I wonder if that's when he was a coach or something. Daryl Strawberry. <laughs> that's a good, that's a fun card. But this is what Stadium Club did, you know, back in the day. There was more poses like that, which I wasn't a huge fan of. A little too corny for me, but, you know, I guess inserting them in these current packs is not too bad. But when every card looked like that, it was like, I, did, I, did, I wasn't really into it. I wasn't really into it. But they tried. It's all about trying different things, seeing what works. They're still putting out, right, all these years later. So, they obviously know what they're doing. Here we go. Just uh, three more packs after this. And then we'll hit our second box. Our second and final box. That was a Rhino Hearn rookie card. Austin Meadows. Look, I don't know if he made it or not. And like I said, at the time where this is taping right now, it's actually the time this is posted right now. George Brett, that's a good card. Um, they've they're going the, they're going over who made the team now. So I'm not sure if Austin Meadows made it. I wonder if he did or not. Eddie Murray, cool card. I like that card. That's a game used uniform right there. All right. Zario. Okay, got that already. All right. Slide this over. Yeah. 
that Cal Ripken card earlier. If you saw it. I believe that was when he got the record. He was driven around in a. I think that, I think that was a Corvette. In fact, I think he might have gave him that Corvette or something. I don't know, but that was a great night. I remember that. And I've been to Camden Yards a few times, and really, it's such a great place to watch a baseball game. If you ever get a chance, D.D. Pedrarius. Oh, nice, Hank Aaron. That's a beautiful card. Hank Aaron. Pujols. Still grinding. Nice card, Beltray. Scooter, you met. Okay. Got a number of hits. Ooh, there you go. Kristen Yelich. Nice. Love seeing his cards. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Who is over Milwaukee? I think we went through Milwaukee already with a Robin Yount. Oh, Andrew M. Yeah, Andrew. It's a nice card. You got your Kristen Yelich card. Like I say about Clay Bellinger, there's no such thing as a bad Kristen Yelich card. That's for sure. Cards like that are only going in one direction. If you're really into cards collecting for the money, I mean, those are the types of cards you just can't go along with, right? Any of them. They're always going to be worth money. They're always going to go up in value as the career goes on. Yeah, obviously, pending the guy has a Hall of Fame career, which I assume they're both heading in that direction. So, just like this guy, Scherzer. Oh, that's a cool card. It's damn usual. Spe speaking of Cody Bellinger, I heard it was yesterday, I believe I heard on MLB, they were saying that um, the season that Cody Bellinger is currently having, uh, I believe it's his, I'm going to say batting average combined with his on-base percentage and maybe slugging percentage as well, is tied right now with a stand usual the best season Stan Musial ever had. Um, he's putting up, he's matched those numbers right now. Um, you know, granted, they're halfway through the season. He has to hold up. But the best season that Stan Musial ever had, Cody Bellinger right now is matching those numbers. So, I mean, Babe Ruth. <laughs> is, there, is there such thing as a bad Babe Ruth card, right? Um, but think about that. Cody Bellinger is putting up numbers right now that are equal to the best season that Stan Musial ever had when it came to. And, and I might be a little bit off on this, but I believe they said batting average, on base percentage, and slugging percentage. I mean, Stan Musial, one of the greatest hitters of all time. So if Cody Bellinger holds up to that type of numbers, wow. It feels like Chris Mielge is... He's not pulling away with the MVP by any means, but I feel like when you put those three, the three main numbers, you know, the home run, RBIs, um, batting average, that, you know, Yelich has the edge, but you start getting into the other, other numbers on base and slugging percentage and et cetera, et cetera. Then you start saying, okay, who's the real MVP? James Stewart. Oh, here you go. Black and white. Miles Straw, rookie card. You saw that earlier, but this is a black and white. I don't know if they're numbered or not. Doesn't look like it. Um, so that's that's pretty impressive, man. Cody Bellinger is just an amazing, amazing. Yeah, that is as chill as it gets right there. Mullen cell. Not too bad. All right, we are down to our last pack in box number one. Last pack right here. We got our two autographs. I'll show those in just a second. I just want to get this last pack. Make sure there's nothing. No other kind of hit in this. But I will get to that in a minute. Alright, let's see here. Whoa, first card I was upside down. Oh, what is this? This is... What is this card? Black? Mm. 
No, no brick. All right, well, cool looking card nonetheless. George Springer, Bo Jackson. Austin, that's a cool card. Chill, look at him popping the bubble. Who is our Kansas City owner? Mm -mm. Kansas City owner is Joseph B. So you got a nice Bo Jackson card there from the stadium club. All right. Oh, I really like that card. That was the first card. I forgot to acknowledge that. National Anthem. Okay. So that was our first box. Um, quickly show the two autographs that we got out of that. Let me do the first one. first one is just a redemption card, which you have to submit. Um, Detroit owner, William C. You just have to it'll explain to you on the back what to do, but it'll be yours. I'm not showing anything here that will give the card away. So that's your autograph. Send that in. If you want to send us a picture of it after you get it, that'll be cool. I'll get that get that on one of our breaks. And this is our second one, Nick Birdeye. Like I said, this is an on card. And I believe that is a biblical Psalm 2131. So if anyone wants to look that up, let me know what it is. Put it in the comment section. Um, I'm just kind of impressed at and surprised that Tops allowed him to do that. I really am. Like I said, I have not seen that. I mean, if you guys have seen that, then ignore what I'm saying, but I haven't seen that yet. Like, I haven't seen guys write, you know, any type of sp specific statistic or uh, whatever. Some of the autographs are great. Some of them are really sloppy. Some of the guys, you could tell, just do not care. They were just like, I got to sign what? Okay, give me that. I'll sign it. And they just like scribble on it. They just scribble on it. Um, some guys really take it serious and they have some really nice autographs. So, all right, get this open here for you. Our second and final box. I am here we go. going to um, I'll open the. You have that. Well, let me get the clutch box open first and I'll continue what I was going to say. Okay. Shape of the box is giving me a little bit of a tough time opening here. Getting the wrap off. Alright, here we go. Got that off. Get that off to the side. Alright. What I'm saying is I'm going to open the box topper again, box loader, first, I think. To get that kind of out of the way and see what we have. It would be really cool if we got one of these autographed, wouldn't it? That would be special. They're nice looking cards as it is. By the way, I have no idea how I'm gonna send these out. I mean, I'll think of it, they make something. I'll have to get like a full size plastic sleeve like they use in the notebooks or folders or something like that, because I have no idea. They don't make top, they don't make uh, top loaders for these size cards. Or if they do, I haven't seen them. All right, so we got a Juan Soto. And I guess we can turn it over and see if there's any chance it's autographed. Juan Soto. Not autographed. But these are really nice cards. Really sharp looking. Really sharp looking, so. Alright, let me get that over there. And we'll get this other pack going. Give me a second. Alright, we're ready. So here we go. Box number two. Let me get all the packs out to start with. So there's four rows of four. Just in case you were counting. 16 packs and eight cards in each pack. So not a lot of cards, but so far I've seen them pretty quality cards, though. I like them a lot. I like them a lot. I think they're gonna hold up well too, like you know, in the future type thing. Because some of these cards you worry if they're gonna how they're gonna hold up. I think they'll hold up okay. You know, if you, if you care for them correctly enough. I think as long as you don't um leave them if you don't sleeve them and leave them like a lot of humidity and over years, yeah, they're gonna probably end up sticking together and all that. But if you I think if you put them in top loaders. And even if you keep them, like if you buy a hobby box and you keep the box and you worry about the cards later in years like sticking, I think as long as you keep them in like a environmentally friendly, card friendly environment, like not a lot of humidity, 
a cool place like a basement or, or an attic that has a fan in it. You know, for the most part, those cards hold up pretty well, at least in my experience. All right, here we go. Freddie Freeman. Hmm. These cards haven't been doing this late. Uh, they haven't been back and forth, but this one seems to be doing it. Well, that's a cool card. That is really cool. Gatorade shower or whatever. Yeah, some Gatorade there and water. Very right, cool. There you go. Old school another the Ted Williams got this card earlier. That's a nice card, Cleveland. Bob Feller. Mm, man, look at that jump. Barry Larkin. What a great player he was. That's another card I think that's way underrated. Barry Larkin cards. I mean, they're not, you know, super cheap, but they're also way, I think they're way underrated. That's my opinion. Whenever I see a Barry Larkin card, like at a uh, flea market or wherever I'm out for cheap, I definitely buy his rookie cards all the time. I do. I think his cards are underrated in good condition. Again, for me, some of these players, as they get older, and they're out of the game longer and longer, and some of the numbers that they held, they have held up, hold up. It's like a Larkin, he's like in the top 10, say, of like, you know, every Cincinnati Red category, and I'm sure offensively, and that those numbers hold up, or at least he's in top, a lot of the top 10s, I should say. Um, then cards like that continue to increase in value. Just Sheffield with the Mariners there. No Ted Williams. Well, he's giving this card away, huh? All right. I'm sure our Boston owner doesn't mind. Boston owner is James S. Oh, here we go. Our first autograph. Cedric Mullins on card autograph. As to our Orioles owner. Daniel H.O. Daniel H.O. Had another Daniel in the group, so I had to use two of your last in, uh, letters. So Daniel H.O., this is your card going to you. Get that sleeved up for you right now. Nice autograph, Cedric Mullins. Rookie card. Okay. Get that in here. All right, so there you go, first autograph. And we'll finish the pack. Another Red Sox, this is like a Red Sox pack right here. Wade Boggs, got Ted Williams in it. Not bad, there you go. Chris Sale, yeah, this is a Red Sox pack, for sure. All right, and we'll take a pack from over here. So we've got one, looking for another autograph. I'm gonna have to look up, uh, I have a checklist connected to my eBay listing here, but it's also on a card cardboard connection. I'm gonna look up some of these these um, insert, these parallel, these color cards, especially the red, that red foil one, the red lettering one. Let's see what we're looking at there. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. <laughs> that's like Gatorade and gum. Man, that's like everything. Oof. That sticky situation right there. That's <laughs> another cool card. And he just took it too. He knew, he knew it was coming. They didn't even hide that one. Another Noel Ryan card. Hit that one earlier. McMahon's Martini rookie card. There you go. Beautiful Roberto Clemente. Todd Frazier. And there's the <laughs> Calhoun card. I love that card, man. Like I said, he just took it. A lot of times those come by surprise or ambush when they're being interviewed, but he clearly saw that one coming. All right. Moving on. Let's see here. We hit a Bellinger tonight. We haven't hit a Bellinger yet, right? Cody Bellinger. I sent one coming in this pack. I don't know why. We had Kristen Yelich. I know that. Didn't hit any of the big rookies yet, right? Um, Vlad Jr. Uh, Pete Alonzo. Roy Jimenez, 
but we are getting definitely some cool old cards. I like those cards a lot. That's what I'm talking about, the red. Sharp looking cards. Wow. Oh, here we go. Second autograph ready. Another Orioles. It's an Orioles night for autographs, it looks like, here in the second box. DJ Stewart, rookie card. There you go. Once again, going to Daniel H.O. Daniel H.O. Going to you, buddy. This doesn't say on the back of these that you've received a... It says top certified in the bottom, which is fine. We know it's certified, but just saying. Anyway, so that was our second autograph in this box. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to fly through these other boxes. Well, when I say fly, flying for me means, uh, <laughs> it's all relative, I guess. I don't have a type of speed. I'm going to explain Chrissy Matheson. Wow. I want an old player. I'm going to explain, uh, as I do, not, I haven't done it in every break, but in my earlier breaks, I explained that I have muscular dystrophy. Um, I haven't explained it in past couple breaks, and I've received a couple comments uh, since I haven't really been announcing what it is that I have muscular dystrophy. Uh, it's a little rude, I guess, but I, look, if you don't know I have muscular dystrophy, right, and I'm doing these breaks and you see the way I, I kind of how slow I am um, and kind of how I struggle a little bit with these packs sometimes and definitely the boxes then I guess I would kind of, I mean, I wouldn't leave a comment. I wouldn't leave a rude comment, but I would say, all right, maybe if you look, you're looking for something a little bit faster and all that, okay, you know, what is this guy doing? Why is he just ripped the paper? What are you, what are you doing? I get it, especially some younger people out there, but I do have muscular dystrophy. It does slow me down, um, but it's cool. I don't mind it. Most of the people that have started following the channel um, been nothing but supportive, which has just been awesome. Can't thank you guys enough. Um, and you guys don't seem to mind it. You kind of like the pace. So I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. And, um, you know, it is what it is. So there you go. I have much good dystrophy. It keeps me kind of, slows me down a little bit. I do struggle opening some boxes sometimes and cards, but uh, I will get them open. I do take care of your cards for those that have, uh, been in breaks with me before, receive my cards, you know darn well that I take care of the cards, and you also know darn well that I take care of you when it comes to receiving the cards you got in these packs, but also um, when it comes to bonus packs and things like that. So anyway, there it is. I got it out there. It's in this break, so I hope you're staying with us if you're new to the channel. Hope you're enjoying it. Hope you're having fun. That's what this is all about. We just kind of like to open cards together here at this channel. We, um, we're in no particular rush. We kind of like to enjoy the cards, um, whether they're hits or not. And that's why I pretty much you know do one or two boxes. I never do more than that. I don't think I ever will. Maybe once in a once in a while, if you know, there's a maybe a set, maybe like boxes like this. There you go. This is a cool card. Charlie Blackman. Look at that. This is a chrome. So is this numbered? No. Do they number? Maybe I'm just out of my mind. I mean, do stadium other numbered cards? There are, right? There has to be. So anyway, I'm not sure why this one isn't, but it's a cool looking card. This is going to Colorado owner, which is Kirk M. Kirk M. Gold glove member. Kirk is going to you. That's a really nice looking card, man. I hope you're seeing that on this. Colors and it's really sharp. It'll look get it in person it's, it's a beautiful card so nice one to add to your collection there's a wrong uniform for now <laughs> if you're watching this in like September or if you're watching this like November of 2019 he might be back on that uniform or but right now he's Yankee right now it's June 2019 and Edwin is a Yankee. So, see how long that lasts. But I am a Yankee fan, so I'm happy to have my own team. 
There, I said it. And of course, Stanton just went on the IL again yesterday. Just got off it, just went back on it. They say it's only 10 days. It's calling it a sprained knee, 10 days. I hope that's all it is for his sake, for the Yankees' sake. Okay. Here's that Ortiz card again we got. We hope he's doing well. Wish him well. Hunter Renfro. Nice. Experience his own. Clayton Kershaw. His insert card. No, not number, but you know I'm going to check. Because that's what I do. That's a cool card. <laughs> we'll catch. And Kinsler. Okay. Moving along. We're about halfway through, I think. Just about halfway through box number two. Just about halfway through. Let's see. Yeah. There's 16 packs. Yeah, I think this is, we have about eight left, seven left after this. Socket card. That's a nice card. Peeking through there, Mike. I see you. Very nice card. I have a heck of a year. I love Stadium Club. Loves these uh, Gatorade shots. I don't blame them. They definitely make for good pictures. We have Rosario. What's this? Not yet. Nice card. These are Astros. We had a couple cards going to Terry. That's for you, Terry. That's a nice card. Don Lester. Mike Busakis. There it is. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll look all these cards up again anyway after the break. Of course, I sleeve everything, and I'll make sure everything's properly get top loaders, etc. So, the autographs will go in uh, one touches. I always put autographs in one touches, so I'll send them to you in those. Most inserts go in like a, a top loader, and then I usually sleeve the you know base cards, and then I put everything in nice little between two pieces of cardboard and bubble wrap them and I make them like Fort Knox proof Fort Knox security proof Tanaka Guire power zone that'd be a cool autograph card hold on to that there and meet him boom oh look at that the other, the other Bash brother. Another autograph. Boom. You're welcome. When you guys go to card shows and meet these guys, you know how to do it now. <laughs> you need me to tell you where to get the card autographs. All right, all right. Let's go here. We are more than halfway through. I believe we got both our autographs in this box. They're both Oriole autographs. Get to you in a second there, Michael. First, to the front of it. Tim Anderson. Good card there. I think we got this card in the first pack of the night. Jake Grom, he's on the cover. Ryan Ahern. I think the second time we got this red. Foil card from him. Nice. That's a cool card. There he is, the kid. And there's Comforto. Ken Griffey Jr. 
all time great hitter. The swing. For you young fans, collectors, man, just Google Ken Griffey Jr. home runs and just look at his swing. You want to see a sweet swing. I mean, one of the sweetest swings ever. Ken Griffey Jr. Machado. I don't know how you guys feel about Machado. I'm not the biggest fan, but I know his cards do pretty well. There are people that like to collect them, so more power to you. Me, I see him, I pass on him. Danny Koufax. Yeah, Juan Soto. That's the Juan Soto card we got. The box top of the big, the big card. And Javier Baez. Okay. And we are wrapping up the second and final box. And as I mentioned, right at the end of this, um, there will be a pause in the video for a second. And then I'll come right back. You'll see me come right back to... Uh, the laptop with everybody's name listed on the randomizer, list randomizer, and we'll do our giveaway. The box giveaway. So definitely stay tuned right after this last pack. I don't want you to miss the, the giveaway. Gary Sanchez. Frank Thomas. The cool car. Chipper Jones. Hitting the sweet. Part of the bat right there. Todd Helton. Nick Martini. That red foil. Power Zone. Chris Davis. Bob Gibson. Interesting card. Kind of showing feeling there. Following through. Mike Piazza. That was a cool pack. We get another mix of current studs and Hall of Famers. Like all-time Hall of Famers, too. And one can argue you make the Hall of Fame, you're a Hall of Famer, I get it. But you can also make the argument there's, you know, there's levels of Hall of Famers, too, right? I mean, Babe Ruth and Harold Baines are both in Cooperstown. They're both deserving. I'm not saying Harold Baines is not deserving, but Babe Ruth and Harold Baines. So that's what I'm talking about when I say there's levels to the Hall of Fame. Right? And I think these packs have been really cool because there's the trout. I was waiting for a trout tonight. Just a base, but nice. Kikuchi, rookie card. Um, Zach Greinke. That's a nice card for Blake Snell. Carlos Carrera. And Castro. Ricky Elliott. That was strong. It was our first card. Sorry. By the way, who's uh, have you all been to the Hall of Fame? Uh, Cooperstown? Or if you haven't, do you plan on going? I know some of you are you know, way on the other side of the country, so... But I got to tell you, man, if you ever get a chance, it's definitely a place you want to try to see at least once in your lifetime as a baseball fan. You will not regret it. And if you have kids, even more a reason to go. You will not regret visiting Cooperstown, the village of Cooperstown, where the Hall of Fame is. It's amazing. Amazing. I've been there a few times, and I've never had a bad experience in Cooperstown. Never. I've had some awesome experiences, in fact. Some really cool ones. Oh, this is one of these Bean Team cards. We hit one earlier. This is Juan Soto. We hit a uh, Aaron Judge earlier. Soto. Going to Billy S. David Dahl. I wonder if he made it tonight. Have a good year. And, okay, there we go. Okay, we are down to how many more packs here? One, two, I think just two more packs. Yep, just two more packs, so here we go. 
rip through them real quick, and then we'll get to our giveaway. And I'll show the hits before I, I pause this. I'll show all the hits for the night in this box, and then the first box in case you didn't catch it. And the autographs are definitely hit or miss in this one we got so far. I mean, in other words, if some of those players turn out to be studs, then you have some of the, an early card with an autograph, which will be worth a lot. But if they don't make it, well, they don't make it. It is what it is. Deke Matsui. B. Reed, that's a great card. That is a great card. I think that's our Dodgers owner. That's a really cool card. Justin D. Nick Arietta. Another power zone. Chris Davis. Former. It's like look, it's like is it gone or is it being caught? Okay. Not already. Alright, one more pack, guys. One more pack. And we are done with this break. As far as the cards go, and the card giveaway. All right, thank you again for all you uh, who bought in tonight. I really appreciate it. Appreciate all the support. Um, I picked up a couple of Patreon members over the week, um, in addition to the ones who have already been members. I appreciate that. If you have any, um, you want to look up what that's all about? I mentioned the word Patreon. What that membership's all about? How you can support me monthly. Uh, with a pledge uh, there's some information below in the description you just click on that that'll take you to the my patreon page and explain what it's all about and this is a rizzo this is one of those red airfoils nice card and up oh, this is one of the uh chrome cards here this is uh jose altuve chrome card let me see if this one's numbered i don't see don't see a number on it but that's a nice chrome card going to our astros owner and that is Terry D. So Terry, you got another uh, nice car here. El Tuve. And send that off to you. All right. And I think we are about to wrap it up. Bradley. Now what is this? The pink? Or is that just on um, the actual... Yeah, I'm going to have to look up some of these cards. Uh, for you guys. They'll all be in the proper inserts. Uh, proper top loaders and all that good stuff, but uh, like I said, these are new to me, so I'm not claiming to be an expert on all the inserts and all the, the colors and stuff like that, because they, they kind of change from different sets and things like that. So anyway, that was our break there. That was a nice break. Got some really nice cards, some great Hall of Famers, uh, which will be nice to add to any collection. And then let's take a look here at our our hits for the night. So, we got this uh, DJ Stewart rookie card. That was our second hit in box number two. This was our first hit in box number two. Cedric Mullins rookie card, another Orioles. Our Orioles owner is Daniel H.O., Daniel H.O., so you'll be getting both those autographs. And then in order of, or reverse order of box number one, this is Nick Birdeye. This is our Pittsburgh owner. Talk about that autograph, along with, uh, I believe it's Psalm 2131. And um, uh, that'll be going off to you, Steve A, I believe. Let me just double check that. Make sure I'm not, no, I don't think it's Steve A, sorry about that. Travis P, Travis P, I apologize. Travis P is going to you. Sorry about that. And our last is, this is the first hit we had tonight. This is Kristen Stewart. This is a really nice one. This is probably our best one. It's a redemption card, though, so we're going to have to send that in. And that is going to William C. So those are our four hits. Like I said, I'm going to pause this video now. Um, I'll be back in just a second, literally, with our giveaway. All right, thanks, everyone. All right, welcome back, everyone. Here is our random.org list. This is for the Tops 2019 Tops Stadium Club two-box break. Uh, as you'll see in the box here, here is everyone's name, uh, team owner tonight. That was in the break. Um, everyone who bought a team, your name is in here uh, just once. If you bought multiple teams, your name is in here just once to make it fair. 
Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to randomize this list five times. Okay, so five times, whoever's name is at the top of the list after five will win a 2019 Topps Series 2 Hobby Box. I'll send that out to you with your cards from this break. So here we go. Here's our first time randomizing the list. All right, let me scroll down. Again, this will be number two. And let's hit number three. Our fourth time. And this will be our last time. Again, whoever's name is at the number one spot after I click this again button will win the 2019 Top Series 2 Hobby Box Seal. Good luck. Here we go. The winner is Terry D. Terry D. Congratulations, Terry. So that 2019 Hobby Box Series 2 will go out to you with your cards from this break, okay? So thanks, everyone, for joining us. Uh, please stay tuned for another upcoming break I'll have soon to announce. It's going to be a, uh, a throwback. I think you'll enjoy it. And we'll, uh, I thank you very much for joining us. Have a great evening. Happy chasing.